Hello, EDF friends. If you, like me, have ever wondered what the wing divers do on maternity leave, we're about to find out together because I'm going to do a let's play of Wing Diver the Shooter. So, as you can see, it's actually in English, which um, when I first played it didn't have the option, so that's a nice change that they added. Um, I did attempt to do a let's play earlier when it first came out, but I realized that I suck hard on shoot 'em ups, so I didn't upload it because there's a lot of failure. So I just kind of here and there played it just to get an idea of how to play it, and I think I'm I think I've learned some key things. So I'm hopefully going to try and restart this let's play and uh, see how it goes. I did not beat the game, but I just tried to learn the mechanics at least. So we have um, options here where you can change the voice and the language, which is cool now. Um, you can actually find rankings too, which is nice. Leaderboards. I like that idea. And there's not too many controls, just change weapon, fire, boost, and that's about it. But the boost is very important, which I soon learned. And there's a weapon select too, which is cool, so you can actually get weapon drops in the missions. And then you can change your weapons out. And they have different energy consumptions, they have different uh, firing patterns and all that, so pretty cool idea. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm not sure why it says sortie to start, but okay. This is an urgent request for Pale Team. Ravagers have been appearing in a previous cleared area. Our main EDF force is busy trying to destroy the mothership. Your advanced aviation and weaponry training is hereby suspended. We're counting on you, Pale Team. So I'm going to try this on normal. Hopefully I can not mess this up too badly. Some of these weapons are really, really cool too, so... I want to um, try to unlock them all, of course. But uh, it actually can know the story now, which is cool. This is Kill 11. We've reached the target area. Thanks for taking on this urgent request, Pale Team. Mm. We need your help more than ever. Look at that static pose. Pale Team's equipment is still in the testing stages. It has to enter the field at some point. That's right. This may be earlier than planned, but we'll show those ravagers what our new aviation units can do. So, one of the problems I had initially when I first played this was it was hard to tell um, what enemies can hurt you and what can't. So, I found out that it's just the projectiles really that can hurt you, not the enemies. So, I was always concerned about hitting enemies on the ground, but that doesn't really matter. So, so there's a weapon drop, it's just random. My weapons aren't exactly the greatest, though, on this mission, but you can overheat too, as well. The rapier is very strong, of course, but. It's, of course, close range. Area clear. The bugs have been wiped out. Hold on. It's an ambush. This is kind of a cool part where you kind of uh, have to kill a certain number in a certain time period to get unlocks for health or for weapons. So that's a really cool idea. I like that. Rapier is really good here because you can really kill a lot of enemies, but I have to get to 400 to get a weapon. Oh, I overheated. No, no, no. All this... All this valuable time. Am I can at least get a big health. I need it. Come on. Yeah. Okay. I got that. Yeah. I failed that up badly. I could have easily got that if I didn't overheat like that. But oh well. Next time. At least I did the health. I need the health badly. So it's a little weird to see like enemies for me. I don't know why on this game, but I'm trying to do better. But the dash is really good in this game, so it's very important to use all the time. You can dash through projectiles, and it gives you like iframe. Oh, come get the weapon. It gives you iframe, so you can actually survive. So you want to kind of use that to your advantage a lot, I found out. And I think hopefully that'll help me get through normal on this game. The game definitely looks cool. I like the, uh, I like the uh, the way the game looks. Yeah, see, I would have known that if I would have played in English, because they're telling you about the the boost. So if you kill these spires, it seems like they'll their web will disappear, which is important as well. But yeah, my weapon. Oh, yeah, if you get stuck too, you kind of slow down as well, and you take damage over time, which is cool, just like the other game, or the real game. So, interesting. This is Wing Diver 9, 
Oh man, my health is bad. You can get armor in this game too, which is cool. Those American screams are not very good compared to the Japanese. <laughs> the voice actors in, in Japan are so much better. See, I can dash through that, which is nice, which is important to um to do. Because you can't fly through that line and you get hit by it. So, so hopefully I can beat this. I got health. I think I got health before I lost any health. It says you can get trapped in their web. Oh, it must be the web he shoots out, because I'm going to say that web in the background you can't get trapped in. Doesn't seem like it, at least. Alright, I'm on phase two. Hopefully I can beat phase three. Good, I got full health. Or not full, but I got enough. Oh, that was bad. I, oh, I dodged that somehow. Oh, that was bad. I need to go left or right and then move. That was bad. I used to be good at these games, but not anymore, and I I just haven't played them in so long. It's like I'm going to beat it, though, which is good. So Retarius on the first level. Pretty crazy. Hopefully I got some weapons that are actually decent, because those two were not good. Mission cleared. Alright. Ooh, I got a plasma launcher and a rapier thrust. Interesting. And my health went to 113. So you can change weapons mid-level, so I'm going to take the better one. Boy, that's short. Look at that. It's probably a lot of damage, though. Not really. 1.6 times 6 compared to 1.5 times 5. Doesn't seem like much difference. And then I have, um, what else? Dual Plasma Launcher. Take that, baby. Your you can two at once. I want something long range, but... I'm taking the Ion, because I want long range. Oh, you can uh, change your color. Let me do that really quick. Because that outfit is so last year. Wow, that's bright pink. I always like purple and black. I don't know what's wrong with me. Okay. Let's sorty. Let's sorty it up then. See, I want that three way right there. That thing would be nice. Hopefully, this plasma launcher is pretty cool. The giant insects Ooh. have been emerging from the underground subway. Space down there will be restricted. Your new aviation units haven't been tested in this All right. Oh, cool. This looks good. As long as I'm careful with my energy consumption, I think I could... This could be really good. It's hard to see a little bit with that light, but... <laughs> so that is a cool thing, though. Like, say you struggle on a mission, you can always play more, get more health, and then you can uh, come back to it. So, I think that could be useful as well. Yeah, I'm loving this weapon here. This is good. That's what I love about shooters in the past. I, I would always like uh, shooters that have a lot of upgrades, a lot of options for weapons. And because this is an EDF game, on top of a shooter, it's going to have a lot of weapon types. So I could never stand just having, you know, the same one or two weapons. It got boring. Yeah, this weapon's doing work. Wow, it's good. I know you're supposed to keep your eye on the, your actual ship and not on the not on the enemy, so you can dodge. But uh, I'm still not great with that. At least you can't hurt your NPCs, and they can't jump in front of you. Oh no! Don't go down the pit. 
here. It feels cold down here. I've got a sensor reading, but I can't see the enemy. Oh, great red. red giant insects surrounding you. Shoot him up time. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is really good for this part. Please recover your energy. Oh yeah, this is doing work. I always keep trying to grab that weapon box up top, but it's not an actual weapon box. 400, yeah, we did it. And we're going higher. We're going all the way. Nice. Yeah, that made it easy with that rocket launcher. Plasma launcher. Alright. Well, I don't even need that health. I should save it maybe. I don't know if it'll stay on the screen or not. This is definitely a cool game. I just wish... I wasn't so bad at it. Yeah, I shouldn't have got hit there. That was bad of me. It's a little hard to see, though. I don't think those reds can actually grab you. I don't know what they do then if they can't grab you. It's hard not to want to use this rocket launcher, it's so good. Oh, I need a help, come on. Something telling me there's a king spider down here. They're a little cheesy looking, the bosses, but they're cool. Quit it. Quit it. It definitely does work on her. Look at that. Alright, phase one. Great. Oh, big health, big health. Big health. Oh! How did I dodge that one? It's a lot less stressful when you know you don't have to worry about getting hit by the enemy itself, it's just the projectiles. I think my problem at the first, like I said, I didn't know the dodge, so with the dodge, I think this I can do this on normal. I mean, it's going to get harder, of course, but we'll see. It doesn't feel too bad. Oh, big health. Thank you. Airstrike! Oh, I, uh, that was a bad, bad choice, but it didn't hurt too bad. Yeah, I don't know what those reds do, except distract you. Or they're just there to give you, um, po um, not points, but, yeah, points, but also, but also to give you, oh, cool, I got it, to give you drops, maybe, health drops or whatever. <laughs> That's kind of a cheesy animation. Alright, I think we can do another mission. They're kind of short. Thunder Sniper, Ion, Mirage, oh, yeah. Weapon select, baby. Let's get rid of the ion. So we got the two way. The Mirage. Thunder Sniper. Thunder Sniper does 30 times 3. I want this Mirage. The Mirage looks cool. It's level 0, but. Uh, what else was there besides? Thunder Sniper's level 3. I want to try the Mirage, though. Oh, we got Wasps. Ooh, Thunderbow. That looks cool. 20 barreled. Geist? Oh, <laughs> there's a Geist. Oh my goodness. At least you can't, uh, 
kill everybody on your team with it this time. Hope you can't kill yourself with it either. Giant insects have reappeared in the city. Something like the plasma this doesn't hurt you when you shoot by yourself, so that's nice. Roger that. Uh oh, there's kings. That was a good scream. They did a good job on that one. This looks good, this weapon. Like they have no chance to get on the screen if I or they don't have a chance to shoot if I can get him in the box right away. Yeah, I can see this met weapon being really good on higher levels too, like Mirage 15 way if they have that. And the one shots them on normal too, which is surprising to me. I guess this is good for single targets, the other one's good for um, mass groups of enemies. Ooh, weapon. It's like you're tempted to get those weapons early, but okay, I'm, I did it. I fell. I fell for it. <clears throat> As I say, you should wait for it to come to you on the screen instead. Too early to celebrate. Oh my goodness, this isn't good. I'm really messing it up here in this one. A lot of weapons, so I, I need to finish out strong to beat this so I can keep the weapons. Can I have a health, please? Shoot him up time. Oh my goodness. That's disgusting. That's actually more disturbing to me than the um, EDF games, the normal EDF games. Don't overheat! Have I got 60 yet? No, one more. Come on. There we go. Got it. Perfect. Yeah, this gives you a lot of drops, this weapon. I like it. Cool, cool. We should heal up full here. Not quite, but close. I think the negative of this weapon is which they intended to do was it's hard to see with it. But it's definitely a cool idea, I like it. So hard to see. Did that car just blow up from me? These are really short levels. It's a giant spider. Oh no. No, wait. A super giant spider. Super giant. Eat it. Eat it. I can I can dodge this so far, I think. As long as I can see. Trying not to shoot too often so I can see. There we go. It's a good first phase. I think I didn't get hit at all. Great, nice too. Pincer attack? No way. Alright, dang it, that was bad. I might be able to do this just to see easier for now. Because I don't like. I Man, if you could cough at that web, that hurts. 
Oh, don't overheat, don't overheat, don't overheat. Okay. Alright, is this next phase almost done? I can't, I'm not really looking at my health bar. Okay, oof, and health, nice. Oh, boy. Oh! Oh, man, I ran right into that, so bad. Ah, dang it, couldn't see. Oh, okay, he's dead. Cool. Okay, okay. Don't need to mess it up here at the end where the easy part here. Okay, take it easy, take it easy. Is he dead? Alright, nice. Oof. That got a little little scary there, but Come on, new weapons. Nice. Thunder Bow fifteen, cool. So we got you select your weapons. You can equip two at once. Thunder snipers and thunder bow. Wow, cool. A lot of weapons. I'm, I'm, I was more than I was expecting. But yeah, I think that'll end it for this one. I'll uh, end the video here. Looks like it says, One of our scout teams has found a huge footprint in the mountains. We estimate the creature who made them exceeds 100 meters in size. Pale team, we need you to conduct an aerial search. Also, there have been sightings of swarms of giant insects in the area. Follow the Vanguard unit's orders at the outpost when you arrive. Alright, so I guess we'll continue off mission four next time so once again thanks a lot for watching and i hope to see you on the next video